prepare for battle. First blood, double kill. Holy shit. Ultra kill. Double it. Hey guys, and welcome back for another Shadowlands review. Today I'm going to be going back and doing the M960. Now, the thing I want to say before I start this review is I'm not sure whether I uploaded my original uh, uh, review of this or not. I know I had a review of this made. I don't know if the original one ever got uploaded. I get the feeling that it didn't because I didn't see it on my YouTube channel. I looked for it a bit, but I wasn't able to find it. I've got so many videos up, it's hard to dig through them all. But uh, there might be a one up already. There might not be, but I am going to list. I'm going to list this as the first M960 review. But if there's one already up, I will just go back and list this as the second one then. So, just get that out of the way first. Anyway, so I'm going to jump straight into the stats. Ammo capacity, 50 of 50, equal to the P90. Damage of 34, uh, portability of 85, rate of fire of 82, accuracy of 68, and recoil of 63. Now, I'm going to quickly open up the P90 stats. Uh, let's see if my internet connection will allow that. Uh, P90. Okay, so I'm going to quickly open up the P90 series. Uh, let's get this right... Here, okay. So I am going to compare these two because they are very, very similar given their ammo capacities. So uh, that's what a lot of people are going to be looking at. Honestly, this gun is statistically better than the P90, although you cannot put a scope on this gun and you can only put a suppressor on it, no extended magazine. It is They're obviously both fully automatic. Uh, the popularity on this gun is pretty low just because the P90TR is better than this, but the regular GPP90 uh, statistically isn't as good as this gun. So into the uh, P90 stats. Uh, 50 of 50 for ammo capacity, damage of 35, portability 73, rate of fire 82, accuracy 67, and recoil 72. And it does have the built-in scope and is equipped, uh, you can put a, a uh, extended magazine, sorry not an extended magazine, a silencer on it. So yeah, and they're obviously both fully automatic and I just got lag killed right there, that sucks. Okay, so comparative stats. The M960 has one point less of damage, however it has much, much better damage drop off than the GPP90. Not that the GPP90 is really that bad. But this one is slightly better, so it just it depends on what you really want to go for. Honestly, I would take the M960 for its damage over the P90. The portability on the M960 is 85, and it is only 73 on the P90, so the portability is greatly increased on this by a whopping 12 points. That's like the G36 Valkyrie to the Autumn Valkyrie. It's a massive, massive increase. The accuracy is 68 on the M960 and 67 on the P90, so you get a slight increase. And the recoil is 72 on the... Uh, P90 and only 63 on the M960. So if you look at the M960, it has a massive increase in portability and recoil. I'm sorry, a massive decrease in recoil, so it's much, much better. Uh, the accuracy gets a one-point increase, and the only difference uh, that is a negative, negative difference is that the damage only goes down, the actual statistical damage goes down by one point. However, with the damage drop-off being better, and the tighter spread, that's the thing that a lot of people like. The only thing that is different is that the P90 does have a slightly smighter jumping spread than the M960, and which is why some people may like it a little bit more. But honestly, if I had to make a choice between the GPP90 and this gun, I would take this gun by a long shot. A lot of people say, why would you get this gun when you can get the P90? And while that's a good way of thinking if you're trying to be NX conservative, if you're not so worried about your NX score and you really like the GPP90, I feel like you would do very, very well with this gun as long as you don't rely on the scope on the P90 too much. If you rely on the scope a lot, then obviously this gun isn't going to work out very well for you. The, the reload on this gun is much faster than on the P90 series. That's another big, big increase. You just take out the clip and pop it right back in, whereas with the P90, you have to like do the little clip thing on the side, and you also have to take it, and taking it out and putting the clip back in takes longer. So, I mean, just in general, this gun is much, much better. And also, one thing that I like about this gun, and this is true of the P90 as well, so I can't really say this is a ma uh, major difference, but the M960, not only is it fully automatic, but, like, it's easier to tap fire. And when I say tap fire, I mean, like, the spread gets smaller, it seems. So, yeah, I just sacrificed a lot of HP there for no reason, but anyway. Another thing that I want to point out, and also this is not a huge difference, is that the size on the screen, the M960 has a pretty small size on the screen, and so does the P90. Neither one is pretty, uh, neither one is particularly large on screen. So, I mean, in general, I would say that the uh, M960 is probably a little bit smaller, but it's not that big of a difference. And running animation doesn't really matter. I guess it's not that big of a deal. It's just I thought I might as well point that out. So, uh, yeah, I don't really have a whole lot more to say about this. 
In real life, this gun is most similar to the MP7 series, uh, not the MP5, the MP7 series, due to the mechanics on the inside of the gun. Uh, they're similar. This has the barrel drum. That thing has a that thing on top is not a scope. A lot of people think, is that a scope? And no, it's not. It's a drum, and that's where the bullets go. Uh, it's similar to some of the drum machine guns that way, or if you think about the AA-12, it's that similar thing, except it's elongated instead of, uh, like, compressed. So, don't have a whole lot more to say about the gun, guys. Um, I recently started playing, uh, if you guys know that I play, uh, uh, Sam anime games sometimes, because I like, uh, Japanese anime, and sometimes, like, the books and the games are better than the actual, uh, they have better story than the actual, like, TV show. And, I mean, like, High School of the Dead and those, I really love those, it's a lot of fun. I recently finished one called Magikoi, and it was really good. I was impressed. Uh, but the thing is, it, it really seemed unfinished. It was a very much unfinished game, and I was always complaining about that because the 2009 release was such an amazing game, and then they had no good ending. But I realized why. It's because this year, actually very recently, back in June, they released Magikoi S, which is the second one of that, and I'm now playing that game. Uh, the final patch just is about to come out like next week, and I have the next to final. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to getting the English patch of that, and I'm going to play through that. And I've already played through a little bit of it, but I'm going to repatch it in a little while and just see what happens. So I'm looking forward to that, and I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I don't have a whole lot more to say, so thank you for watching this review. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Get your friends to rate, comment, subscribe. That's how I get more views and more viewers, obviously. So, I mean, if I get more views and viewers, then I get to entertain more people, and that's what I like to do. So rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next review. Shadowlands out. And that one, given the intelligence of the people who watch this show, this is probably a good thing to teach. Because my guess is when they're not trying to operate heavy machinery with their butt cheeks, they're probably trying to do something stupid like this. I mean, what else could you possibly teach that would be as stupid as that? Even you can learn something from a sloth. Fuck this show!